So just a quick test uh, on the extruder. Just wanted to check that the extruder was feeding the the amount of filament it's expected to do. So I'm just going to prime it with this uh, bronze filled PLA. So that's extruding now, okay. And what I'm going to do is just to put a a mark on the filament and then another mark a hundred millimeters up then feed it a hundred millimeters using the the settings in the prepare menu and um, see where where we go so now we can see that I've made one mark uh, just above the the lever here for the extruder and if we rotate up the filament there we can see the mark for 10 centimeters or 100 millimeters. So I'm just going to feed that amount through now using the prepare menu. Move axis, move one millimeter, extruder, and here we go. winding it around now to 100 so we have 100 on the dial Just see the mark coming into the camera shot now there at the top. And now it has stopped. So it stopped here uh, approximately five millimeters above the level of the extruder so it appears that um, it's actually under extruding at this moment in time so let's let's just check that with the, with the caliper four point six so yeah as near as makes no odds five millimeters short of the uh, of the range that it should do so I'm going to work out a, a multiplier for the for the extruder in the next um, next G-code file that I produce, and we'll rerun the test and see if that's uh, that's fixed it. So here we can see the small uh, G-code file that I've set up just to to test the, the extrusion rate um, at the top, just setting the the head temperature, the hot end. 205 in this case. Setting the units to millimeters, absolute coordinates and absolute distances for extrusion. Now I'm by no means any expert on, on G-code so I'm just learning this. Um, if anybody has any, any comments or anything to add I'll be, uh, be interested. So finally we want to reset the extruder distance to zero. Um, e is the, uh, the extruder. And finally, well, almost finally, G1 is to move E 100 millimeters at uh, three F, a flow rate of 300, uh, which represents five millimeters per second. The flow rate is um, expressed in millimeters per minute. So whatever number you have there, you just divide by by 60, and you get uh, get the millimeters per second. And finally, at the end of the test, just turning off the heater. So we'll we'll run that and uh, see what it does. So here we are, ready for the for the test. Uh, we can see the the black mark. Hopefully, you can see that just above the extruder lever there, and the, the other mark you can see uh, 100 millimeters further up, just out of out of shot. So we go to run the the test code. filament running through now 
can say only uh, only five millimeters per second. Make sure it has enough time to extrude. Getting near the end there, you can see the other black mark. And yes, that's that's quite repeatable. So the test code um, results uh, appear to me to be pretty much the same as um, using the prepare menu. So let me just get in there and see what that distance is. And again, yes, uh, five millimeters uh, thereabouts. So now we can put in the uh, the, the factor, the multiplier that we can work out to uh, adjust that extrusion rate. So here's the modified G code having worked out what the multiplier uh, has to be. Uh, that's a simple task of taking the, the, uh, the, the figure that we got, which was 95 millimeters fed. So we take the 100 millimeters that uh, it should have fed and divide it by 95 and this gives us our extrusion multiplier uh, 1.05 and you could enter that in, into Cura or into Slicer or whatever and uh, that will correct the, the extrusion rate. In our case we're just going to hand craft this and obviously a factor of 105, 105%, uh, all we do is to modify the extruder distance to 105 millimeters, still extruding at 5 millimeters per second, and then we'll see that that uh, corrects the problem. So here we are ready to run the test with the, uh, the multiplication factor in to add the extra 5 millimeters. We can see the mark on the top of the uh, extruder there. So let's run the test and see what happens. And off we go. We just see the top black mark coming into the into view now. This would be the interesting point. And yes, spot on. You can see it's uh, in the, exactly the right position, having extruded 100 mil with the multiplication factor. So I'm quite happy with that.